Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back and to anybody who's new here. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I just want to thank you for all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares. And um, <clears throat> if a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Feel free to take the roles and reverse them as needed. And we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the message. So... The first card out is the Four of Swords and the World. Um, then we have the Six of Swords. So it looks like there could be a completion of something. <clears throat> this looks similar to the last reading. There's something about either you needing rest or there's a break before an ending. Like you're getting a, a break right before something is about to end. So you could be waiting for a completion of something and... Right now, you could be experiencing um, peace or something where it's like whatever it is that you're waiting for, it's not affecting you at this time. It could be affecting somebody else. That could be the reason that this is here. Um, whenever I was doing the pre-shuffle right before I turned the camera on, um, I was getting something about somebody having um, clarity in their emotions. So somebody could be having um, something clear up for them as far as the way that they're looking at something in a situation to do with you. Let's see what else. Whatever this has to do with, there's something that's already been decided here. I'm seeing this world card and it looks like it's looking at the Four of Swords. So it's like you're looking or you're waiting on this ending to come and this ending is like it's waiting on you. I'm showing an ending and then something really peaceful and free happens right after that. Um, the Nine of Swords has come out right after the Six of Swords. So, this could be something that's worrying someone. We're going to keep going to clarify whatever that energy is. This talks about anxiety or somebody being in a state of fear or worry or um, panic. This could be an Aquarius that's experiencing these feelings, or there could be somebody um, around you who's an Aquarius. You could be nervous about the path that you're on. It looks like there's some communication that's coming towards you around money or around your independence um, whenever it comes to something to do with a union. So you could be being freed from a union or there's something that you're coming into alignment with here whenever it comes to your north node you could be in the spotlight or you could have a lot of eyes on you or you could just be in a, in a state of healing what I'm seeing is um, it's like something ends and then after that you're moving on into calmer waters, but you might be nervous about where it is that you're going because you you have not been wherever this is before. You can have a lot of energy coming towards you very quickly. Like a lot of rapid events could be happening to you that makes you feel grounded in whatever it is that you're doing or wherever it is that you're going. There's something about um, being being very present or things happening. And I'm getting somebody feeling like, wow, this is what my life is now. So that could be significant. Um, this could be talking about independence from a relationship or while you're on this path. Um, you could have some money coming towards you. Or there's something about you being financially stable. And there could be um, a soulmate or somebody coming in. Or this could be somebody that you're moving on from. Um, 
Because the star, this looks like somebody who's on their path alone. That's what I'm seeing. It's like, where did... <laughs> That's weird. I just heard, where did you come from? Where did you go? Um, so you could be um, at a place where you're moving into a space with new people or going through a lot of uh, rapid events really fast. You may be meeting a bunch of people that you that feel like you know that you're out of this world or that you're somebody. Um, that it's like they wonder what path you're on or where where you came from. And I'm also seeing you maybe going through this very fast. So you could move from one place to another place and um, have a lot of sudden change, and then something changes again. And something changes again. I'm, that's what I'm seeing is like rapid changes very fast. This break that you're getting right now has something to do with your patience or it has something to do with the divine. Like the divine is giving you this break right before this ending. Um, you may be being given some time to prepare for something or you're being given time to rest before you have to, to deal with something. And the Ace of Swords has just come out. So that's, that's the message or I'm on the right path here with whatever... Um, with what this is that's coming out. You could be given this time right now because of um, something to do with patience or clarity. Like you maybe be, be... You're give, being given this time because you need to see something or there's time that you need to have to see something clear. Or there could be something that you need to communicate. Or you may have an epiphany when the cycle closes. This epiphany could have something to do with what you lost in this past cycle. Like you could be seeing that what you lost wasn't something that... Um, that was really best for you to hold on to and the place that you're going into. It's like you're seeing that what you lost was really something that benefited you or benefits the situation. And this could be a loss of people or a loss of something that you spent time on. Um, Somebody could be passing away or there's something um, you may have um, be receiving some news of someone passing. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or have that sign somewhere in your chart. Or there's someone here that's really attached to you who's anxious about this ending. This person could be feeling an utter loss. The lights are flickering. There's something about a victory here that's coming in very rapidly. So this victory could be coming towards you. Um, you may know that this is going to happen. You could feel like it's right there. Like it's something that you can touch. And there's also something about... It's like you don't need to do anything because you know you've already won. So maybe you're not supposed to prepare for anything. Maybe it's something like you know you've won either way. You know no, no matter what's happened here. There's something about the divine giving you a break from people or something... And no matter how this situation works out, you know that there's a win in it for you. Because it looks like what it has to do with is releasing something. 
something is transforming from one thing to, to another and whatever is being cut off from you it was supposed to be left behind so it's like you're able to rest on whatever's happening here because you know you're supposed to be independent from this energy This energy could be a king of wands. Um, there could be somebody in a leadership position who's involved in whatever this is. Or this could be you taking action, moving forward. Like being independent, focusing on your money, focusing on whatever action is actions that you want to take in this next cycle. Whatever those are. You could be dealing with a Virgo or have that sign somewhere in your chart. There could be someone who is a Virgo that's coming towards you. This just, just could be you being introspective while you're on this journey. There's something about a lot of energy coming towards you right after you are succeeding in something. And it's like the actions that you're taking, you're also taking heed of all of the karma lessons that you have been through like you're applying these and all and wherever it is that you're going whatever it is that comes into contact with you it's like you're floating through these rapid changes but you're paying attention to what you've learned like being introspective without having to have a tower like you're being introspective as you're going through these motions on your day-to-day -day. So that could be significant and um, something that you need to remember to apply with communications that are coming towards you if you're in an energy where you're dealing with a lot of people. Just heard, give me a break, give me a break. I don't know why I'm getting... <laughs> Somebody could be eating a Kit Kat. Or somebody's name could be Cat. Yeah, this place that you're moving into, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment here for you. Whatever it is that you've got coming up, there's something... I can't tell if my camera is sliding down. That could be significant. That could be something that you're like... <laughs> I'm getting being um, you're taking a rest from there's something that you're not wanting to involve yourself in I was going to say lazy but that doesn't feel correct um, it's like there's something that you're just hanging out for you're taking a break from um, so on the place that wherever you're moving to what I'm showing in the future energies is there's something about you coming into union with somebody and or these are energies that you're coming into some kind of connection with and whenever you do you're being introspective when you come into union with whoever this is and um but it's like you're coming into union and but you're still moving forward this card makes me think of a lily pad like if somebody just floating through a pond but this person's alone and this is the ten of cups So you could be experiencing a lot of emotional fulfillment in the place that you're going to. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are in your north node. This ending that you're going through right now, this moment of clarity, this moment of truth that's coming up was meant to transform you and put you like further down the line of your path or put you into your north node or do something where it caused um, a lot of changes very suddenly you could have lost something you could have lost money or time um, or energy dealing with whatever this had to do with but this was meant to to put you in your in your purpose and have you look at things from a different perspective there's something about um, being able to look at things from a place where you're able to see 
where you need to protect yourself and this happens it's like these things happen very quickly so while you're moving through these new changes it's like you know by going within what steps you need to take to protect yourself from either people or negative energies or from whatever this previous cycle is talking about like how to protect yourself from these things um this is talking about you being protected being connected to the divine being on your north node um and being very happy while you're doing these things For some of you, there is something about whoever it is that you've left behind or whatever you've left behind. Um, if you, when you look back on it now, you don't look at these people like they... Like, you know that these people didn't make you very happy anyway. These are people that um, either are always very negative or they project project neg negative energy, energy towards you. So you felt... Like, them being around you just depleted your energy or it wasn't a place that you were thriving. So there's something about you looking back at those things also. Like, for some of you, you could have been at a place where maybe you cared about certain people that you let continue to stay around you that always made you feel bad or always put you down or always tried to exert some form of power over you instead of seeing how powerful you are and knowing that and knowing that you are and knowing that you don't need to to give your power away to anybody so there's something about seeing these people who maybe at one time you you saw like they were missed opportunities like maybe you could have handled things different and it, actually seeing these people for that it was them and not you um not to say that there weren't lessons that you needed to learn or things that you haven't grown from daring whatever this was but there is something about looking at these people and seeing them for who they are some of them could have been very greedy with you or your energy or with money this could have been over money whatever this was before whoever this is um this greedy person, they're looking at something from a different perspective. This person could be stuck at this time or they could feel like you'll, you're never going to speak to them again. Or um, they could be wanting to come towards you to message you. This could be an ex-husband or an ex-wife. This is someone who they see you, but you also see them. This is where it's like you... Oh, this is, is already feels muddled. Um... What I'm seeing is you seeing somebody for exactly who they are and you seeing that you're able to calculate this person's next move and they see you looking at them. They know that you see them. They know that you see that they are full of it or that they are trying to hurt you or that they're being calculated. Or that. And it's like they maybe see you as somebody who's very intelligent or someone who they missed an opportunity with. This could be somebody who um, took something from you that could be messaging you. They could be messaging you trying to partner in some form. So this could be friendship or a um, love or business connection. This could be somebody who they're messaging you because now they want to work on the connection after they put you through all of these burdens and you still were able to come out with um, something good for yourself. This person is going to be messaging you because they see that you have moved on. They're going to come in very fast. This person could also be connected to a karmic feminine They, these people could spy on you, whoever this karmic and karmic ex is. 
These could be people, whoever they are, they could have put you through a lot. And they're both seeing you still doing well or still being... Um, these people could see that you have some, some kind of good news that's caused you to move on from them. These people could see that your energy is very elevated, but they are, there's something that's being hidden from them or there's something that they cannot find out. So they could be messaging you to try to get information because it's like you're cut off from them or there's something about you being guarded or blocking these people. And they see it's like whatever this person tried to do or tried to take from you, you still end up in the Empress energy. And there's something about this happening and this person being like either in an illusion about what's going on or there's something about you being hidden like your energy is being hidden from whoever this is and you're moving away very quickly it's like they're here at the bottom and there's somebody over here and there's fog covering them up it's like, that's you. They can see part of you. They know that you're okay. They know you're alive. They assume that you are, like, their intuition is telling them that you're thriving and you're okay, but they don't know how, if that makes sense. Um, if you share children with, with this person, it's like this person and whoever it is that they're with, they see that, like, when the kids go with you, the kids come back and they have new things or the kids are happy or whatever, you know, information they're able to pull from the children. They see that you're, that you're doing well. This is something that they're, they, that could be what the page of cups is here. They see that you're balanced. Like whatever they did, they weren't able to to cause you the kind of loss that they meant for you to have because you used your discernment and the divine called judgment on whoever these people are. And so whatever confusion they're in, they know that this has to do with justice. Like they know that balance is brought in here because there's some truth that's been exposed. This could be about somebody who was emotionally manipulative. That could be the clarity that was seen. And something about you being very strong. What is going on with my... I keep looking over and then it's just down, so... Uh, I mean, that could be significant because it keeps happening. So there's something about someone, like, tried to push you down gradually and you that's not what happened. And they're not able to see what exactly happened with their efforts, but they know that you're good. They know that you, you're still in this energy of being the empress. This could make this person feel very low or this person could feel like they're slipping into despair. It's happening again. I think I'm gonna have to end the reading so I can switch stands because this is not helpful. <laughs> so. Let me I'm gonna pull from a different deck really quick and then go ahead and close out the reading. What other messages does the collective need to know about this reading? The nine of coins. So there's something that's gonna be happening for you where you're independent and free. There's gonna be some kind of block put up with these people or this person and you're getting on to a new path that does not include whoever this is. And it's like there's a clearing in a field that you have just stepped into or um, or that's what's coming up. There's something about you being free and clear. And this could have to do with your finances or this could have to do just with your emotional independence, but there's something about you being done and putting your back to whoever these people are or to whatever this is because of judgment that's being called. Yeah, and the Eight of Cups has come out along with the emperor. So there could be an emperor that you're moving away from, an, an emperor energy. This could be somebody um, who 
if, if this is somebody who has emperor energy, this could be somebody who has some kind of power that for whatever reason you had to turn your back to them. Um, or this could be a father figure. Um, this could be your father or your children's father, or this could be a boss or someone who had some sort of power that they may have abused that caused you to walk away from them to begin with. And it's like you're being separated from this energy completely. And you may have ha had to take some financial hit during whatever this is, but I'm seeing you move into a new place where that's that doesn't matter here. Wherever it is that you're going, that could be because you're receiving money or because your abundance is going to pick back up. But whatever it is, this emperor has done something where they tied themselves to this anvil and it's like they set themselves up for whatever this is for whatever has happened here for you to walk away from so i'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here i hope this message is helpful thank you